Hello, my name is Matt Ritgers, and this is my review of the Coleman Tenea Lake Fast Pitch 8-person tent. Um, as you can see in front of me here, it's this attractive large cabin style tent with walls that are almost vertical on the sides, which actually makes for quite a bit of ample space in there. Um, set this up a couple times in my yard uh, just to try it out and try a night or two with my toddlers in it. Um, I do say it is quite a spacious tent. Uh, I've been pretty impressed with a lot of aspects of it. And I also have a couple concerns. Uh, we bought it off of Amazon for about $150 and uh, uh, really given it a, a try this summer. Uh, well, let me give you a little tour of what it looks like here on the inside. So right away there's a unique feature to this tent. So uh, we can unzip the tent and uh, they actually have included uh, rigid tent poles that you place inside the door. Um, I believe the idea is then you have a door that will stay open. Here, there's my son Elliot. You can have a door that will stay open on its own. Um, and you can shut it and it's got Velcro. And so if you just needed to jump in and out for a moment and didn't want to zip it all the way shut, you could keep it shut that way. Uh, yeah. In theory, it sounds like a great idea in practice. It's not entirely that useful. A little bit of wind can blow the door inside. Um, if I ever want to, sorry buddy, if I ever want to zip it shut, um, Sometimes these uh, these these rain fly guards actually uh, get in the way, uh, so it actually can be pretty difficult sometimes just to zip your tent shut if you're trying to get in and out quick. Um, not a huge deal. Uh, again, sounded better in theory than in practice. Uh, though inside my tent, I've been actually pretty impressed with a lot of things. So inside my tent, um, I'm a Individual is about 6'1". There is ample space above my head, um, almost all the way to the sidewall, um, able to stand up very comfortably. Uh, they, they label this as an eight-person tent, which if you've ever been tenting before, you know that that number oftentimes is inflated for what would be really comfortable in a specific tent. Uh, but we can get uh, very comfortably two full-size air mattresses here in the tent, um, one on each side. Uh, we slept in it last night with myself, my wife, and our two young kids. Um, and we would have had more space if we had other kids or somebody else hanging out with us. Uh, one of the other unique things about this tent is that it has a closet. Um, I wouldn't have bought a tent specifically for having a closet, uh, but I could see how it might be useful to hang up coats. It does come with a uh, shoe rack of sorts that you could you could put your shoes in or other items, I believe. Um, neat, neat idea. Um, sometimes I wish it was actually closer to the door, though. A lot of times if you're out camping and you need to take your shoes off, uh, you want to you want to haul them across all your beds or your coat or things like that. Um, so again, interesting idea. I'm not sure I would shell out extra money for it in particular. In one of the corners that has the zipper to run an extension cord into the tent, um, which is handy. Uh, it's got some of these big windows, little pockets. It does come with a divider, uh, privacy divider, which is which is nice and welcome. Um, and then the top of the tent is is all screened in. So uh, if you don't have the rain fly on, uh, it actually becomes quite quite the sun porch. Uh, all in all, I'm pretty impressed with the tent, the size of the tent, the comfort of the tent. Uh, it's been really good for family camping. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily imagine it's a tent that you want to do uh, any kind of hiking to take back somewhere. It is a heavy tent, uh, so it's more for car camping. Um, I can give you some more information about setting it up. Uh, here in a minute, but uh, it does not go up in nine minutes as it advertises. Maybe maybe if you had uh, three or four individuals helping you, you could. Um, for myself, it probably takes me 20 minutes, half hour, um, maybe even longer if there's some wind or something like that. Uh, pretty sturdy construction. Uh, these these heavy duty poles are on the sides, and then the, the quick part of it is actually the top part of the canopy, which I can show you later. Uh, one of my concerns about this tent, however, is is the sheer uh, tension that it places on the sidewalls seems to be really tight on the seams. Um, um, it seems to be relatively reinforced on the inside, but a little, uh, a little disturbing to me in terms of uh, long-term strength of the tent. Uh, interesting, I haven't used it in the rain yet. I have seen some professional tests of the wind and rain durability and does receive good scores, but I do have my own suspicions when the rain fly does not come down very far. Um, so when it rains, wonder uh, what's my chances of actually staying fully dry in there. 
Uh, all in all, a pretty good tent. Uh, kind of wonder if there would should have been another couple lines uh, holding the canopy down over there. Uh, the tent pegs that it comes with are pretty standard, which is basically, uh, you might as well just throw them away. Um, they bend the moment you put them in the ground. Uh, other things that the tent does not come with that if you are new to camping that you need to be really um, you need to really think about is you do need a ground cover which is oftentimes a tarp that you place underneath the tent. That does a couple things that keeps the tent safe from rocks and sharp abrasions. Um, it protects it that way and then also if it rains it, it provides an opportunity for the, the, the tent bottom not to sit in water. Uh, if I was expecting rain uh, I really should have folded this in underneath it um, so that rain wouldn't 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 pool on it. So you would want it actually underneath the tent not sticking out because that would just cause rain to run underneath my tent. Um, all in all, pretty happy with it. Uh, wanted to give tenting a try with our toddlers this summer. I think we're going to give it a go. It's really amply comfortable. Uh, has a nice little uh, floor mat that it comes with that stakes down which is nice. Uh, a couple things that the tent might be missing that uh, I'd be looking for if I was considering another tent. Uh, I do like tents that come with screen porched areas. Screen porched areas are great places to sit if you're worried about bugs um, or if it's raining. And they're also really handy as a, as a kind of an in-between place where you take off your shoes when you're, when you're entering your tent. Obviously this tent does not have that sort of entrance. Hey buddy. Um, but uh, largely I'm happy with a lot of parts of this tent. Uh, I'll go ahead and take off the rain fly and show you what it looks like without that. Here's what the tent looks like without the rain fly on. Um, I almost always will camp with the rain fly on uh, because usually in my climates, uh, rain is always a possibility uh, or dewy mornings and I don't want to wake up with a wet face. Uh, anyways, so there is uh, the inside of the tent uh, looking in through the top. Uh, I believe what makes this a, uh, technically their fast pitch tent is, is that this big long uh, contraption up here at the top, this big uh, multi-contraption is, is all one piece that, that snaps together. So these aren't, these aren't six different poles. This is one unit that, that uh, are all strung together with bungee cords inside and fold up together. So yeah, perhaps that is what speeds up building the tent. Uh, each of these vertical supports, these, these heavier duty poles are, are individual pieces um, and they, they connect uh, at this, this part here that's permanently sewn to the tent. Uh, again, not a bad contraption. The poles do feel pretty sturdy. Uh, in some of my experiences with other Coleman tents, it's nice to know if I'm able to get apart if something breaks. Uh, the issue with this fast pitch contraption is if, say, this pole breaks, um, it looks like I might have to replace the whole thing, uh, which is a little bit of a stressful. The whole, the whole top uh, support system. There might be a way to do it, uh, but again, I wouldn't just be able to purchase uh, one one short pole in order to replace it. Uh, anyways, uh, heavy duty, pretty 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 impressed with that. Uh, none of the poles are are flexing uh, way too strong or way too hard, uh, which has sometimes been a concern of mine in other Coleman tents. Uh, this front one perhaps uh, bends a little more than uh, than I'd like uh, in terms of what it looks like for pressure on the pole, but for the most part. Um, pretty solid tent. Here's a look at the poles that come with the Coleman Tinea tent. Uh, this uh, spidery looking thing is, is the top part that goes um, over the can uh, under the canopy of the tent. I believe that's where it gets the fast pitch name is that's all one piece that snaps together. Um, these next two on the red stripes are the vertical poles in the front and the back of the tent. These four are the four corners of the tent. This piece here is to build the closet of the tent. These little ones are to help with the door and to make a coat hanger in the tent. Again, it seems like there's a lot of pieces there. Um, it's really pretty straightforward once you get it. Uh, all in all, really happy with the tent. In terms of it being fast pitch for one dad trying to put together, it's probably gonna take at least 20 minutes the first time, um, if not longer. Uh, it is helpful to have an extra set of hands as this big a tent uh, turns into a parachute real fast when uh, you have any wind whatsoever out here. Uh, anyways, if you get the tent, hope you enjoy it and uh, have a good summer.